What's up, Survivor Fanatics? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Subsistence. And I was actually not going to record right now. I was just going to do some... C. Why is C still duck? Didn't I change the C button to control? I thought I did. I'll have to make sure to do that again. Anyway, I wasn't going to record uh, this part today. I was going to just uh, finish up the day cutting trees, and I came out of my base and saw a bunch of boxes, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to want to loot these on camera, so let's do that now. And um, I will slice this up, slice it and dice it. Uh, basically, we just be hunting trees right now. And if I see any boxes, you guys will see me loot them. Also, if I get in any combat, you'll also see that. All right, that's looking pretty good. Awesome. All right, let's get to some tree cutting. Well, you know, sometimes you just get a good amount of crates in the area. That's pretty nice. Thing is, once I loot all these, they'll probably all be gone. But you know what? I'll take it while, I, while it's here, right? Some nice stuff in there for sure. All right, we got another one here. Beautiful. And, uh, oh, some arrows. Me likey. Oh my god, another crate. I mean, these are like back to back to back. This is pretty sweet. I am uh, very much enjoying this. So we got a box over here, but uh, there is a bear to the left, but I think he's... Yeah, he's way over there. Never mind. He's not as close as I thought he was gonna be. Alright, here we go. Let's grab this one. I'm gonna need a lot of freaking twine. Oh, there we go. Look at that. More twine. I don't know what sure it's called. It's not called rope. Is it called twine? Cordage. Okay, there you go. More cordage. Well, as you can tell, it is nighttime, and I really didn't want to spend resources on a base light, but I want to record sometimes from here, and you guys need to be able to see. So that's just the way it got to be. So what I'm going to do right now is I need to, I need two things. I need base defense, basically walls, which I don't have any of, uh, and I need to be able to fish. So I'm going to go ahead and make as many foundation stairs as I need uh, to the point where I can fish. That's going to be my number one concern. After that, I will get some walls up and build the base as much as I can. I, I did go ahead and get a decent amount of wood, although not like a ridiculous amount. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Yeah, we'll leave nine for the for the stove. And... Oh, someone told me you could shift right click to put wood in one at a time, which is dope as hell. Thank you very much for that tip. That is uh, awesome. So let's go ahead and turn this around and put it right down here. And I don't know if that's close enough to the water. I guess we're just going to have to fish to find out. Now, if I fish, I'm not going to... I don't think I have any tackle left. Tackle takes freaking cordage. Oh, my God, with the cordage. Um, I think I'm going to have to fish. And, you know, we'll get done with the base what we can. But I need protein. I need protein really badly. I also want the shotgun. But now that I use some of the scrap metal on the light... I don't have what I need for that, but we'll get some tomorrow. Uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. So let's grab this and let's, um, nope, that's not what I need. I need this right here. Make a couple, make a couple tackle. And uh, I, I'm not going to record the fishing because I'm going to be down there in the dark. Actually, when I'm down there, it's kind of like, it, I start to freeze. So I might not be able to stay down here. We'll just kind of have to see. I might have to move up top. Um, am I going to be able to get the thing from here? Let's see. Um, no fishing tackle yet. Come on. Come on, bro. I know it's dark. Oh, yeah, there we go. See, we are getting cold. So I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the fishing tackle from that spot. I can't really tell how close I am to the water. Uh, but if I can't, I'll just jump down on the rock and it, I should be good to go. But I'm going to have to fish from up here. Um, and it is going to be pitch dark. So, you know, I'll cut the video here. We'll see if I get any fish. Oh, boy. Check it out. I got a largemouth bass. Hell's freaking yeah. Um, I also got a little dinky fish, which is fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fillet this. Oh, four pieces of fish meat. Oh, man, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. And also, I got five fish oil. I'm probably going to just cook this one up, too. Um, man, that's freaking great. Oh, that's really good. Very happy about that. So we're going to go ahead and put this away. And put these away. Put that stuff away. And I'll hold on to the rest of this. And we're going to go ahead and put some fuel in here and I'm just gonna sit here and stare at this fish and make sure I don't burn it <laughs> yeah I'm gonna make sure that happens look at me cooking stuff without burning it okay so we're gonna go ahead and eat this one first uh, E and then this one should give us yeah look at that max health and max stamina so we're gonna eat these one at a time you got to be careful you don't want to overeat these because you're just kind of wasting you know fish at that point um, I think I will leave the rest down there uh, we will probably want some water as well by the way I can get to the fish from there but I Pretty sure I can't get water from there. So we still want to go down farther. 
Shoot, I didn't look for any animals. That was stupid. Um, we don't. We want to go down farther, but I think I'm gonna hold off for now because it should be all right. It should be all right. Let's go ahead and boil up some water, and then I'm gonna get myself situated. We're gonna go out. And we're gonna get a bunch of wood. Um, I actually have like some nails. I'm not gonna even say I have a decent amount of nails. I've got some nails, and I went ahead and made one of these. But I'm gonna put those in there for now. We will do some building when we get back. What we really need is cordage. We need cordage more than anything. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I wasn't even going to record the daytime. But I was like, you know what? If I'm getting boxes, you know, 14 seconds per box, uh, I think it'll end up being like 12 seconds of the video just so you guys can see what I get. I think that's pretty interesting. And um, it's very doable, obviously. So why not? Go ahead and fill that up. And then we're going to wait for this. And let's take a look out there and see what's what. It looks like... Um, it looks deceptively clear. All right. Uh, but that doesn't mean it is. Alright, so let's get out there. We're gonna make a round on the trees. And those are the trees that give grubs, the big trees. And we're really looking for cor uh, cordage. Um, now, I'm gonna miss cordage. I know I am. And you guys can feel free to pick, to, you know, point it out when I miss it if you want. But, um, it just, <laughs> I hate it. I hate missing this stuff. Uh, I know I miss it though, but it's like when someone's like, oh, right here you missed it. I was like, oh, god darn it. And there was chickens there, and they were both running towards the wolf, because of course they were. So I'm going to just hit this tree and ignore those chickens. I'd, really, I'd rather get rabbits, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and chop this tree up real good. And then we're going to grab this. Look at that chicken. Yeah, come on, follow me. Don't you want to chase me, Cage? And then the other chicken wants me to go up there, which is where I heard the gunfire from the, um, uh, from the bandits. Now here's the deal with the bandits. I need to, during the night, look at the map. I, I think I showed you guys on the map. You can like kind of see where the bandit camps are with their campfires and stuff. Uh, and I've only done that for one night. I should be doing it pretty much every night. If I could spot the rogue hunters, then I'll know where, I'll have a better idea. I won't know, I don't really know anything. But I'll have a better idea of where I can go and where I can't go. And where it's safe to go and where it's not safe to go. That's a deer, okay. I got no problem with deers. We're gonna have to kill a deer eventually. Um, I I suck at killing deer. Like really, really suck at it. You know, you gotta like hit him in the head with the bow, and sometimes I, hit, every once in a while, I'll get lucky and hit the deer in the head, and they still don't die in one shot. And then they just go running off, and they usually run into other animals, um, or worse yet, hunters. And it just, you know, it's just not good for anyone. All right. So the other big tree I want is up here. So let's come up here and see if we got anything that we want to avoid or kill. Or a harvest. Did I hear a wolf? I thought I heard a wolf. Oh god, scared the shit out of me. That's um that's one of the ore nodes like despawning. They like the ore nodes will spawn on the stone and then they'll despawn if you don't get them in time. And that scared the ever loving crap out of me. That's a chicken. I'm telling you, man, I'm gonna chase his chicken. He's gonna run me right into a freaking animal. But I'm gonna give it a shot. What do I got to lose except for my life and all my stuff? Okay. Let's see where this guy's going. I don't see anything in front of him, so let's give it a shot. Alright, so this is where the bear is, huh? I'm not even looking at the chicken, I'm looking at the... in front of him. Alright, here we go, come on. Damn it! Man, that was a long chase. <laughs> that was a long, scary chase. But it seemed to have turned out okay. I think I'm gonna be able to get the shotgun today as well. Um, now, the shotgun I'm gonna be using as like a food source. Uh, if I really, really need food, I'll blast the wolf in the face. Um, I'm not gonna kill anything. I don't need to. Man, okay, so that, that chicken could have ran me into a couple animals and didn't, so that's nice. Uh, you know what? Forget it. I can get wood other places. So, um, yeah, I used a shotgun to blast the wolves in the face, but you don't want to kill anything you don't need to. Because killing stuff you don't need to is just, it's just not efficient. Because I don't have a, um, I don't have a refrigerator, so that food's just going to go bad if I don't need it. So, I'm not going to be killing anything I don't need to. Maybe once I get a refrigerator, that might change, but that's not the case right now. I should also really think about making a pickaxe, but I'm going to get the shotgun first. 
Now, as far as the shotgun against the hunters, I don't normally find it very effective, to be honest. Because you got to get really close to them, and, like, way closer than I want to get. You know, I'm usually trying to keep my my distance from the hunters. Speaking of the hunters, let's try to be a little quiet here. Freaking bear. Freaking bear. Right, let's come up here. We do have two chickens. Uh, honestly, ain't no reason to chase any more chickens. I was just talking about getting food I'm not going to need. Um, I'm not going to need those two chicken meats for a while. So, I still think I'll be able to eat them before they, you know, go bad. But the thing is, I'll also get feathers, and I'm going to need feathers. So there's that. I'm really getting nervous about the hunters, because I know they should be they should have moved in by now. So we're just going to kind of have to... I freaking hate these bears so much. Here, listen to this. Listen to this really quick. You hear that? You hear that third swing? That eh. Every time I hear that, I think it's an animal, like, yelling at me. I don't know what kind of animal it sounds like, but... It don't sound normal. Right, I'm gonna go this way, against my better judgment. I really don't think this is a good move. For anyone who has, who's new here, maybe doesn't know me that well, when I get quiet and stop giving commentary, it's because I'm... I'm completely scared out of my mind. I could play Phasmophobia in VR, and that not bad an eye. Doesn't bother me. But you you make me play a survival game where I'm going to grind for stuff, and then say, oh yeah, you know what? You might get killed. Oh, and by the way, if you do get killed, you're definitely going to lose stuff. Oh, and by the way, you might you, know, you might lose everything. I get I get really scared. All right, that was a chicken. I'm not going to worry about him. I'm, I will kill a rabbit if I see one because I want the cloth. But, you know, we really don't need the meat right now. And it's not to say, well, you know, Kate, you're turning away food. How could you turn away food in a survival situation? No, I'm 100% not turning away food. I'm just saying, if I got that food right now, it would most likely rot. And that would be a complete waste of time, energy, resources, all that good stuff. God, I wonder how many of these things I've missed already. Probably a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and have that. And let's be a little quiet here because I don't I don't feel right. I always say I don't feel right. Oh, I don't this is there's something's wrong here. I feel in my gut that whatever. That's always the way I feel in this game. But you know what? It would bother me if I if I like didn't listen to my gut and then all of a sudden I walked into an ambush and died. That would really suck. Alright. Mm, I don't want to go too far over this way. But I think we can go a little farther. Alright, we got another crate here. Check it out. Alright, I like ammo. Not gonna say no to ammo. Another crate up here. Still not seeing any of the hunters. Maybe, um... I, I mean, they, I know I heard I know I heard them shooting. They might have been rogue hunters, maybe, but... The hunters should be here. And you'll know when you, you'll know where they start living. There's two kinds of hunters. There's regular hunters who will build bases, and there's rogue hunters who won't. And rogue hunters move around the map. And the other hunters, you can kind of like attack their bases and kill them and take their shit. It's pretty awesome, and I will. Um, and then there's one set of hunters that will build like a fortress, which is a giant, uh, freaking crazy base, right? And uh, those guys are cool too. I kind of look at that as end game. It was the last thing I did last season. I, I raided one of the fortresses. Um, but yeah, you, you'll start to you'll start to notice the, uh, the the regular hunters. I guess the building hunters or whatever. Uh, you'll start to see like them building structures. Like they build them up. First, you'll see a foundation. Maybe a foundation with a wall. Um, maybe if I don't spot them quickly enough, they might have a full base built by the time I see them. I don't know. I gotta remember tonight to. Make sure, make sure I look at the map to see if I can spot them. You can actually spot them. The people, the, the hunters that build the bases, their bases show up on the map. So when I go back, if it's during the day, if I get back in my base during the day, I think I might go to my back to my base about about right now. I'm, I'm at least gonna head in that direction. And um, if you look at the map during the day, you can actually see their bases on the map. And yeah, you can see your own too. It's a pretty cool map. 
All right. You know, for a very uh, realistic game, it's got a very unrealistic map going for it. Yeah, you know, you have the map from the beginning. You can see everything. It's in real time. It's kind of weird, but that's all right. Be careful. I don't. I don't like this. I don't like this. Okay. All right. Looking okay. <laughs> Never looking good in this game, but I'm. I'm looking okay. Got two crates over here. And I've not been getting a lot of um, a lot of cordage stuff, but like honestly, I haven't been thinking to look for it. I've probably passed by quite a bit of it, and that's really dumb because I need it. But uh, it's just you know, I'm just looking out for stuff that's trying to kill me. All right, let's go up. Let's go up over this ridge. Grab this one. See if we can see if we can see up here. I might even jump. Nope. 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 That was two growls. That means they are stalking me. He was on the left. What a piece of crap. Alright, there you go. That's a hunter. Um, he doesn't look like a rogue hunter. I think rogue hunters usually have their shirts off. So, if that's not a rogue hunter, what he's doing is he's going down to the water to fish. I think he's fishing. He doesn't look like he's fishing. He looks like he's kind of walking around. I'm not really sure. But, I don't know. He might have been fishing. I don't know. What is he doing? He's kind of just walking back and forth. That doesn't make much sense. Maybe he's looking for a place to fish and he's kind of bugged out. That's kind of what it looks like. Because usually the hunters who live in those big bases, they'll go down to try and fish. Now, if he's there, I'm thinking over there somewhere must be his base. Let's go take a look. Because why not? Yeah. Uh, not seeing anything over there. Alright, I'm not going to go any farther farther over there because I did see some animals and I don't feel like getting killed. But, um, yeah, his base is probably over there somewhere. As far as I understand, rogue hunters will not have shirts on. I don't think a rogue hunter can have a shirt. I could be wrong about that. Very well might be. And it looks like he's trying to fish. Alright, we got another crate up here. And then I think I'm going to go home and we're going to look for any rogue hunter bases on the map. Also, you can't zoom in on the map. But I think I mentioned this too, but I'll mention it again. You can't zoom in on the map. But if you zoom in with a gun... And then bring up the map, the map will be zoomed in. So that could be uh, quite helpful, to say the least. Alright, so this is looking okay down here. That hunter's making me a little nervous, I'm not sure. Like, I don't really mind where his base is, but I don't like him wandering up and down the freaking coast. Alright, so let's take this a little bit slowly and carefully. Now, if the hunters, like, see my base and attack it, I'm going to be in a bad spot. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere anymore. Nor do I see where his base could be. If I had to guess, I'd say it's, like, behind those trees over there, maybe. Or it could be over there. But that's just a guess. And, yeah, if he, they roll up on my base. I've got no defense here. Like, whatsoever. Alright, so, let's go ahead and throw some meat into there. Or, sorry, some, uh some wood and then we'll go ahead and eat this and eat a couple of these and let's put some stuff away now let's look at the map first oh I gotta zoom in first hold on zoom in oh god I left the light on doesn't really matter I'm probably maxed anyway almost maxed all right now we go and we're zoomed in a little bit all right, let me take a look at this map really quick and see if I can find their base. Their like their base should be in a spot I can see it, but let me let me take a look. All right, I found it. You see this right here? That's that's their platform. Um, I don't see any others on the map. If you guys do, let me know. But yeah, there's definitely a platform there. He's coming down here to fish. Why he doesn't fish here or here is beyond me. But that's what they're doing. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's uh, grab this and this and grab the nails. And can we make any more cordage? We can. That's looking good. Should we cook these now? Yeah, let's cook them now. Butcher. The thing is, if they go bad, I think you lose the feathers if you don't butcher them. And um, I really don't want to lose the feathers, obviously. Alright, so we want to put this window down. Well, that's easy. Put it right here. Now, I don't think there's going to be anything shooting at me from this side, probably. So, maybe we should put the window here. 
Well, we can't put this inside. This has got to go up there. Um, I don't know if I can put it up there. Let's give it a shot. Uh, and... Actually, no, we don't want to put it up there. Um, I'm thinking about just kind of... Yeah, that's... I don't want it anywhere there's a roof. Alright, forget it. Let's just leave it where it is. And, uh... We'll put down another foundation. Yeah, I think we'll put down another foundation. Shoot, all my wood's gone now. We'll have some time before night... Before uh, nighttime to cut some more trees. As a matter of fact, I think I'll do that right now. Let's go cut down some more trees and we're gonna build up some of the base. Base building in this game is gonna be a lot slower than you're used to in other games. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that right now, so... Um, prepare yourself. Yes, 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 I did burn the chicken meat. And I just gotta sit there and not do anything else. Like, I'm, I'm never gonna remember to go back and get the meat that quickly. Like, you put it in there and you're like, okay, I'm gonna multitask. I'm gonna do a couple more things here while the meat's cooking. And then, you know, like, you wait like a minute and it's burnt. And I'm just like, oh, man. So I just gotta sit there, wait the thing open, and just stare at it. Or I can't cook. So, yeah. Okay, I like that. I like that. I think we're making a shotgun today, people. I think we've got just enough wood here for what we want to do. Okay, let me see what I got. I want to make some more walls. So let's make a wall. Let's make a door. Oh my goodness. You need so much freaking wood. The freaking wood! My freaking ears! Alright, let's go. Oh, look at that. Let's go up here here and hit some more of these trees should be you know relatively safe as safe as this game gets you know which isn't very safe but um i think i'll be okay hopefully i need so much wood chopping wood all day unbelievable so much freaking wood i'm not even trying to build a big base here this isn't like the old kg48 let's build the mega base and you know and then say, oh man, I need so much wood. No, I'm just trying to build like an everyday normal base, you know? And, uh, <laughs> you just need so much freaking wood. It's crazy. It's crazy. Might not, you know, I think we'll do the shotgun next episode. I think we'll do the shotgun next episode. Let's come up here. All right, looking okay. You know, why don't we get some water? There we go. And come on up here and see what we can do. I'm gonna have to chop some more trees in before nighttime. Alright, so let's go ahead and make a door. There we go. I don't have any more cordage, so. Well, never mind. I do have one more cordage that I can make, but it's not enough to make anything because I don't have another one on me. So we're pretty much done with this building <laughs> uh, part anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and put this right here. Actually. Maybe I should put this right here and leave that outside. Or I could put it in the back and leave it outside. You know what? I kind of like that better. Let's do that. I'm going to put that right there. And then we're going to take this and we're going to put it over there. Alright. And that's looking good. Alright, we'll give it some water. Alright, so the window can go... I think the window can go right here. And then the doorway can go here. And then we got another wall. Um, I don't really know what I want to do with this wall. I guess I made an extra wall I should Oh, two more extra walls I shouldn't have? Okay, well there's that. That's a thing. Well, since I have two extra walls I shouldn't have made, I guess I might as well put one there. I can always move it later if I need to. Um, and that's going to go downstairs, and we put the door right here. And this is pretty ghetto. This is pretty freaking ghetto. i got to jump up to get in my base, but, you know. Um, I would take that extra set of stairs and put it in front, but I needed to get down to the water. So, alright. Well, at least I feel a lot more protected. Um, nobody should be shooting at me from that side, hopefully. Uh, if they come at me, they'll be coming at me from this side. So, you know, I feel a little bit more protected. Not super protected. But somewhat protected. And next episode, we will definitely make a shotgun. Alright, guys. I am going to call this one here. If you haven't enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.